Hello, people of God. You are welcome to Kingdom Salmon TV. We are independent people. We share content of our father and mentor, Apostle Joshua Selman, in order to help to build the body of Christ. As you listen, remain ever blessed. Thank you. Decree and declare favor like you have never seen. May it rest upon your life. Goodness and mercy may it follow you all the days of your life in the name of Jesus Christ the grace for influence the grace for visibility I decree and declare upon you and upon the works of your hands may that grace rest upon you now I pray for your spiritual life especially for those of you who it has gone down your prayer life is not quite the way it should be or many of you are trusting God for higher levels of intercession prayer fasting may that fire land upon your life now the discipline to study scripture the discipline to learn doctrine that makes for the maturity of the saints I impart that grace upon you in the name of Jesus Christ every wrong association in your life recycling pain recycling seasons of defeat I cut you away from those associations forever in the name of Jesus everyone here trusting God for a, a good and an honorable job I stand in agreement believe what I'm saying in the name of Jesus who is the Christ of God may you return by next miracle service with a testimony in the name of Jesus Christ I pray for you as you travel by air by sea by road no demonic kidnapper will have access to you or your loved ones and then I pray that you will not be a victim of any kind and any form of accident the Bible says he keepeth his bones and none is lost, none is broken. In the name of Jesus you are preserved. May the grace that makes for honor, the grace that distinguishes you even among your contemporaries, may that grace rest upon you. I pray for your family members, wherever they are, across this nation and across the globe, in the name of Jesus Christ, by the ministry of angels, we declare their preservation. No one here under the sound of my voice will die before their time. I say it again, that no one here under the sound of my voice will die before their time. Thou shalt not be afraid of the arrows that fly by day, nor the noisome pestilence. In the name of Jesus Christ, the destruction that wasted at noonday, I declare that a thousand shall fall by your side, and ten thousand by your right side, but none shall hurt you. With your eyes will you behold and see the reward of the wicked. Every helper of your destiny, in this season I command them to show up for you. The gift that God has given you, to serve your generation with that holds your relevance your honor your fulfillment i pray for you in this season may that gift find visibility those of you in business in the name of jesus may the lord grant you wisdom can i pray over your finances in the name that is above all names by the mercy of the god of heaven i pray for you supernatural supplies by the spirit strategic favor connections may God bring men and women who are interested in your well-being they will invest their credibility they will invest their resources in your life in the name of Jesus Christ and I pray for you every spirit of lukewarmness that wants to affect your spiritual fervency hence your progress in the spirit in the name of Jesus Christ I declare it departs from your life now and forever more particularly I pray for those of you who have come from far as you return you return in the power of the Holy Ghost I place a seal upon you 
even as we prepare to step into the sixth month of the year everything that was preordained from january till now that has not yet found visibility in your life in this month of june as you step into it i call upon the god of my covenant every one of them must be featured in your life in the name of jesus heard you sing this song and there's a part that you sang that I've not heard it's a chant a very very, very powerful chant because many times chants carry the spirit of prophecy on them can you sing that part for us before you sit down very powerful la 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 just says before we sit down there are people here the Holy Spirit is speaking to you you have carried around a realm in the spirit for a long time there is a beckoning of the spirit to go into very deep levels I stretch my hands right now in the name of Jesus father there are people who have operated around certain gifts at a level that is no longer profitable for the hunger and the desire of those who come to you in the name of Jesus inside and outside I pray let there be a measurement of a thousand cubits and may you be pushed prophetically step into that new level in the name of Jesus new level of prophecy new level of power in the name of Jesus Christ just help those under the anointing very powerful out of my belly shall flow to the nations healing revival miracles signs shalatos kalibara haskia shalabarados and as the river flowed every fish that was dead when it came in contact with that water it came back to life it's a life-giving river hallelujah in one minute i'd like us to truly honor minister prosper let me tell you this he's he's a man hold on please he's a man that god has helped god has taken his songs to the nations and let me prophesy to you that in the name of jesus christ by the spirit of prophecy we measure a thousand cubits and we shift you to deeper realms for you and your team may you be the first partakers of this miracle service that your your feet has stepped upon this ground 
in the name of Jesus every other nation that has not heard you I stand by the rod of the prophetic and the apostolic we open up the gates heater and theater in the name of Jesus Christ greater songs from the spirit to bless the nations kings will honor you nobles will cast their crowns in honor of the grace of God upon your life in the name of Jesus Christ please let's honor minister prosper I love you thank you thank you thank you thank you hallelujah God bless you please be seated please be seated we have to hurry up there is a strong impartation going on at overflow one I don't know what it is with overflow one this night but there is a strong move of the spirit this is what I'm seeing I kept seeing light while I sat back here light just coming on them doesn't mean that God will not touch all everyone light you came for a miracle service it's not just a healing service a miracle service is a prophetic service a miracle service is a lifting service a miracle service is a restoration service a miracle service is an impartation service you must be very sensitive tonight we have come before the God of heaven we won't be here for long but there are no miracle services that are the same we are coming with our hearts desperate and hungry shall flow rivers rivers of living water out of my belly shall flow rivers, rivers of living water. The Lord is ministering to me that there are 16 people. They are carrying the healing anointing. There is the grace for healing. Genuine healing. I stretch my hands by the Spirit of God. Inside, outside. The nations need the healing power of the Spirit. Not only to receive, but to be distributed. Some of you have seen this in your dreams. Some of you, you have been prophesied upon. That moment will come and you will carry this power. In the name of Jesus. Shabakata. Contact the grave. Bring healing to communities. Bring healing to nations. By the power of the Holy Ghost. By the power of the Holy Ghost. By the power of the Holy Ghost. I'm still praying for the healing anointing. The healing ministry is part of the end time ministry. A body has now prepared for me. Satan is about destroying the bodies of men. Because your body is your legal authorization. Again I declare, as many who must enter into this end time ministry of healing, let's restore the real anointing for healing. Genuine healing miracles. Father, let it fall like rain from heaven. Let it fall upon young and old, male and female, inside and outside. Take that grace in the name of Jesus. I'm under the shadow of your wings Your influence is all over me I'm under the shadow of your wings Your influence is all over me Yeah. 
taking the pain and the sorrow away. You've given me peace on the night No need to cry cause you're always with me. You're my father, my everything. Oh, in my away and then you gave me joy you're my peace my melody in the center of the store you gave me a brand new song to sing to you that's why i will lift up my voice and sing seated shortly but in the name of Jesus Christ I want to pray for a group of people that God is bringing speed now I want you to hold them because they will begin to run out all over the overflows just bring them direct them out father for the years that have been eaten over the lives of people canker worms caterpillars Palma worms. I want to stretch my hands. The grace for speed is going to fall on men and women. Some of them will begin to run physically. I want you to help them so they don't injure themselves. Father, in the name of Jesus, as many who must drink of this grace, I stretch my hands. Take that grace now. Be to your destiny. Be to your destiny. Be to your destiny. In the name of Jesus, financial speed, speed in your spiritual life, speed in career. I speak it by the spirit of grace. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I'm hearing the name Joshua, my namesake. I'm hearing the name Joshua. This man I'm talking about is in overflow one. I'm going to pray for you. But the gentleman I'm seeing is at the back overflow one. The power of the Holy Spirit is strong here. There are two of you. The power of God is coming on you. This is the instruction God is giving me. Two of you here. Standing. Right now as I'm speaking, there is a strong anointing. God is introducing you to dimensions of grace. Dimensions of fire. Even by His Spirit. You will never be the same. He's activating something very strong upon your life. My friend, shout Jesus as loud as you can. In the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands. There are chains that I'm seeing around your feet. I cost those chains. Be free, be loose from them now. This gentleman, in the name of Jesus Christ, the Lord sets you free. For every one of you, what do you do? Yes. Huh? I work in a bank. What do you have to do with a bank? I work in a bank now. Huh? I work with Zenit Bank. You work with? Zenit Bank. Zenit Bank. Come. I want to pray for you. You believe in Jesus Christ? Yes, sir. <laughs> the gentleman is shocked. Not everybody fakes this thing, no, my brother. There are people who have paid their price with God. Please stand up. I'm going to pray for you. Where? PZ. PZ. Your days here are numbered. I'm seeing you. I'm seeing them lift you out of this city. It's a very great increase. You believe that? You believe in prophecy? Yes, sir. Was it not your prayer? 
it is, sir. is it not your prayer i'm seeing you praying this thing i'm saying now in the name of jesus this is your own miracle service i declare by the spirit of grace may that grace that will cause your superiors to favor you and i'm praying i'm using him to pray for someone who has been in a position that is no longer a blessing to you by prophecy help them please i move you to the next season of your destiny in the name of jesus christ he said ye have encompassed this mountain long enough turn ye not words there are times where where you are blessed you yesterday but it no longer becomes a blessing today and you must discern the grace that shifts men into new seasons holy holy is the lord god almighty who was who is he does not remain as a god who was there is what god is now doesn't negate what he was but there is his current emphasis and there is who is to come the spirit of stagnation insists that you remain in your yesterday even though time has entered your tomorrow you are in your tomorrow but living in the reality of yesterday whatever has kept you it, yesterday that has refused to leave you there is a string that connects Chapakatuskia, connecting you to yesterday you are entering every year and it's looking like the years pass in the name of jesus help them please i declare every string connecting you to yesterday i cut it off you now i cut it off you now he says behold i do a new thing I bless every one of you who is standing here in the name of Jesus the Christ of God that you have come heeding to the call my friend look at me lift your hands this one yes I'm seeing oil this this, this one with handkerchief I'm seeing oil coming on your head what do you do Thanks, sir. I want to pray for you God is going to use you where are you from from Cardinal State sir. stand up that rejected stone you will be surprised to see what god will make out of your life in the name of jesus christ i declare power from heaven the grace that separates men and consecrates them until they become mighty may that grace rest upon your life you will begin to have encounters i'm speaking it to you this grace your eyes will be open to see and to know things in the spirit i shift you to that realm the realm of encounters in the name of jesus christ There is power in the name of Jesus. There are miracles in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. Break every chain. hallelujah the lord bless you all in the name of jesus christ come maxwell there is a training that the holy spirit is doing with you he will make you a very mighty man of god very mighty man of god you will carry a prophetic and apostolic grace to the nations he's still training you and building you but in due season the nations will hear you you will minister with such levels of power such levels of grace in the name of jesus christ please bring for me the lady that shouts under the anointing now bring her. god bless you gentlemen please you can go back to your seat rejoicing Please play the strings for me. Anybody with the strings? Let me just speak to that lady and then we'll be seated shortly. In the name of Jesus, the Lord is taking away reproach from your life and your family. I declare by the Spirit of grace, reproach. Let this proverb no longer be heard in Israel. In the name of Jesus Christ, who is the son of the living God in the name that is above all names reproach be gone forever for your shame he says you will receive double 
in the name of Jesus let it be so where you have been deserted so that no man goes through you in fact this prophetic word is not only for this lady seasons of shame seasons of reproach there are people what is written on your life is ichabod it looks like you only have yesterday to comfort yourself there is nothing new happening right now but i declare the seasons of reproach may they come to an end now seasons of reproach come to an end now seasons of reproach come to an end now Hallelujah. God bless you. Please sit down if you can. We'll be very fast. I'll be praying for the sick shortly. Madam, this woman, come. The Lord is about to change your story. Where are you coming from? I'm from Zaria here. You are from Zaria? Yes. I want to pray for you. Stand up, please. Are you alone? Did you come alone? I came with my children. Where are they? They are outside. That's all right. Let me pray for you. That's all right. I, I want to pray for you. Mighty things are happening in this place. Please, I'd like you to be sensitive. God is turning people's captivity around. What do you do, my friend? Is this your mother? What does he do? because there is the spirit of leadership my friend look at me i'm seeing the grace for leadership on you huh and god is going to make you a very great leader this is what i'm seeing in the spirit but as it is now there's no job for him he's a graduate but my school we have a school i want to pray for you that god will give you a good job these are your children no problem don't worry even if it's just one or two of them father first i pray for this family madam i'm not a prophet of doom but in the name of jesus i cancel accident from your life it will never be said you were on your way going to the village and that the car capsized where are you from i want to pray for you because i'm seeing that there is an accident and they will say it's caused by bad road that the road was so bad your car tum literally like tumbled but in the name of jesus don't be afraid we minister life in the name that is above all names i decree and declare ah, i'm praying for you but i'm seeing the anointing coming on this lady is this your daughter huh this is my first daughter this is not your daughter or is this your daughter biological daughter my senior sister's daughter that's what i'm saying but i'm praying for you but instead of this grace resting on you i'm seeing it rest on her my sister look at me i cause witchcraft from your life as i'm speaking to you right now in the name that is above all names i declare by the spirit of god everything connected to witchcraft ancestry this last row this one here there are two people the power of god is coming on because i'm praying this prayer and i saw light just this last row The yoke and the plague of witchcraft. <laughs> Madam, in the name of Jesus Christ, be set free right now by the power of the Holy Spirit. The Lord bless you. The Lord increase you. In Jesus' name. Amen. Now, I will pray for everyone, but God bless you. You can return back. That The Lord is ministering to me that there is a woman here. Don't be embarrassed, please trusting god for the fruit of the womb this is five years five years is there someone like that i know that there might be a number of people sadly covid may not allow us just to lay hands but i'm going to pray we we'll, would we'll, we'll get into the healing session but i'm seeing a woman this is what god is showing me like five years please if the person is here whether here or in the overflow you can allow the person to come let me pray My head is exalted like the horn of a unicorn. I am anointed with fresh oil. Please stand up. 
There are impartations that are going on here. My head is exalted like the horn of a unicorn. And I am with fresh. Just allow me to do my crazy thing. My head thou hast exalted like the horn of a unicorn. Hallelujah. Dr. Sammy, lift your hands. I'm seeing a very strong anointing coming on you. And the Lord is telling me that there is a grace. You're going to start having prophetic dreams. And the Lord is bringing you to greater levels of influence. This is something that was in your family. And the Spirit of God has been looking for someone to carry that grace. The Lord is announcing to you that that grace is coming on you. My hand that was exalted. Like the horn of a unicorn, I am anointed with fresh oil. My sister, look at me. How long have you been married? You've been trusting God for the fruit of the womb. How about you? I'm standing for somebody, but my own is almost four years now four years don't worry i know that you're not but since you came out lay your hands on your stomach let me pray for you you believe in miracles look at me my sister you believe in miracles no matter what the medical report is in the name of jesus like eli prophesied to anna i speak to you according to the time of life in the name that is above all names return with your miracle i stretch my hands over you in the name of jesus Look at me. Go and write the name Victor in a paper and keep it. Go. Where are you from? From Kogi I'm seeing something I've not seen in a long time. Please take it higher for me. Many times, I've not seen this gift anywhere operate. Where God will just open up, I will see the map of Nigeria. And the Spirit of God will show me a region. And the moment I see that region and I begin to prophesy, everybody from that region, the power of God begins to touch them. I don't know how. I've not seen it. I, I, I may not create a doctrine out of it. I believe that is part of the ministry of signs and wonders. And now I'm seeing this map again. And I'm seeing that light going to Kogi State. Is what I'm seeing. Kogi State. Kogi State. Kogi State. The Lord is bringing deliverance. Kogi State. I'm seeing altars. Kogi State. Pela Tariko Sigetia. You were mighty on your throne. Could these days all that been uprooted in the name of Jesus? A long captivity, sitting on the destinies of men and women by the power that raised Christ from the dead. There are men and women of God whose destinies are to be ministers of the gospel, but there are all that sitting upon the prophecy of their lives. I decree and declare everyone from this region, within this vicinity, and following online, I command by the power that raised Christ from the dead, be delivered now. Be delivered now. Be delivered now. My dear, it is done. You are from Kogi State now. It's done. Please go. Go and return with your miracle. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please sit down for a few minutes before we begin to pray for the sick. I welcome you to our main miracle service. 
Isaiah chapter 2 and verse 2 Micah chapter 4 and verse 1 You find the same expression, the same rendition The Bible says It shall come to pass in the last days That the mountain Of the Lord's house Shall be established in the top of The mountains And shall be exalted above the hills And all nations Shall flow to it Verse 2 Please can you play strings Just play something flowing Verse 3 Okay. Next verse. And many people shall go and say, Come, let us go up to the mountain of the Lord, to the house of the God of Jacob. He will teach us his ways, and we will walk in his paths. For out of Zion shall go forth the law, and the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. Please listen to me. The end time church. Is a solution providing center the end time church is not just the coming together of people to waste the time and the destiny of others no the end time church is a center of signs of wonders of miracles of supernatural solutions the end time church is the church that will translate our secret place and the riches of our encounter into solutions help those outside i told you already overflow one into solutions that our society can relate with can i tell you this your christianity is not complete if your encounters your fastings your prayer does not translate into the life and the power that society can relate with the bible says let your light so shine before men listen carefully that they may see he wants men to see for a long time what we do is we keep fasting we keep praying falling down rolling competing with one another doing all sorts of things and we are not able to translate this god life we are not able to translate the reality of our convictions to a context that the world around us can relate with the word became flesh the bible says and it dwelt among men and we beheld his glory even as of the father full of grace and truth that means the impartations we are receiving the signs and wonders we are receiving listen carefully the encounters angelic encounters all of these things must equip us eventually to present a living Christ to our world reveal Jesus bring glory to him and improve the lives of people improve the lives of communities that communities regions territories and nations are improved because there are believers within that region he says you are the salt of the earth preservation and value that's the assignment of salt you add taste and you preserve you are the light of the world he says a city that is set on a hill the reason why the world continues to mock the church is because we jump around we fall down we stand up we roll men of god like us now they clap and they call us celebrities apostle joshua selman powerful people but all of these encounters do not have a system of translation where all and sundry those who live within our vicinity to be able to experience the reality of the life of jesus christ the gospel was not designed to just be a message that saves the gospel was also designed to be a value system empowered with the anointing of the spirit that transforms societies so that gospel and that christianity that is only limited to the members of a church or a ministry or a denomination falling down jumping rejoicing that's wonderful but let them see you fall down and stand up and then let's see the benefit of what you got while falling let's see how it changes people let's see you stand up with the healing anointing that you can step out and go home and go to your environments like jesus said laying hands on the sick and they are seeing the supernatural solutions once it is solution it will be recognized whether it is supernatural whether it is scientific it doesn't matter what form it comes 
every revival you study through church history every revival brought with it physical manifestations of the power the grace the wisdom of god every revival provided it was a move of god it did not just stop at miracles and it did not just stop at healings it brought wisdom to people witty inventions ideas that improve the quality of people the christianity that we propose that does not seem to have any relevance and any bearing as far as our sociology is concerned is an incomplete and an inaccurate christianity so we call people for a miracle service tonight we are not only calling believers we are calling creation to come because he has given us something that is not just for christians he has given us something that is for all his creation the ability to provide supernatural solutions that's why i told you it's not just a healing service not everybody is sick it's not just a deliverance service not everybody is oppressed there are people here what you need is wisdom there are others what you need is direction there are others what you need is a prophetic word to give you guidance there are others what you need is strength upon your inner man there are others like i taught yesterday what you need is salvation there are others what you need is an awareness of your current state to know that this is my state so that you can contend for a higher dimension of grace there are others what you need is encouragement to let you know that what you are doing is correct keep going in that frequency there are some of you what you need is acceleration some of you what you need is repentance to turn back completely because the way you are following will not lead you to the way of destiny so when we say a miracle service don't just limit it to people rising from wheelchairs crutches blind eyes opening those things are wonderful and then impartations we all need impartations remember my teaching please if you were not here yesterday do well to get the teaching yesterday and then you can get the teaching for last month also the thursday i take out time to come a day before as a commitment to see that at least we have that that ability to at least go through that system of mentorship and discipleship for a day before the miracle service the way our system of building has been designed is that for three weeks we spend time laboring building on doctrine building on the pillars the mysteries of the kingdom and then the last friday or sunday or whatever day of the month we now step back and give god an opportunity to come in the midst of his people and provide supernatural solutions for people remember when he preached in the crusade ground jesus now when he was done he healed the sick and did all of that but he noticed they were hungry hunger is a physical need he said no don't let the people go this way they have received the spiritual food he had to multiply loaf and fish to make sure that they were fed so when he comes to you he's interested in every aspect of your life not just your spiritual life then to live your finances not just your finances to live your spiritual life every aspect of your life is his concern are we together so you come here sick then you expect that god would come through as a healer you come here confused you know that he can give you that voice from behind that says this is the way walk in it you come here desiring restoration because you believe time has gone in the economy of god there is a system for restoring things and restoring time you're here because you feel you are moving at a very slow pace it's like a snail like progress you are not exactly stagnating but then your your acceleration is very slow relative to the demands of your assignment and your, the demands of your destiny you will need acceleration there are families that are here and they've been wounded by all kinds a plethora of witchcraft activities you will need the power of god to step in there are people who are here and you just need activations of graces and impartations of other graces 
I told you that results in the kingdom among many other factors by now you should know you've been well taught there are graces allocated for different dimensions of results that we seek influence has a grace that controls it favor has a grace that controls it speed has a grace that controls it are we together visibility has a grace that controls it signs and wonders has a grace that controls it the prophetic has a grace that controls it so you come hungry Lord you have granted me the grace for favor and I am grateful but I need in addition to it the grace for influence not because of some personal self flesh thing no I found out that my assignment and the call of God upon my life will require influence and visibility and so I come to contend for that grace Pastor Nathaniel sang it so powerfully what's that song it's a new song I hope you know it this my people I hope you I'm hungry for you hungry for you I have come to the table to eat I'm thirsty for you thirsty for you I have come to the waters to drink so I'll tarry and not let you go I don't know the other part of the song but very powerful I'm thirsty I'm hungry and I came desperate to sit and wait until I receive what I came for you see let me tell you this every time God engraces a man it is not ultimately for that man the gifts of the spirit are for the profiting of the body so if God gives one person a grace for influence if it remains with that one person forever you have failed in your assignment you are supposed to be a system of distribution provided there is discernment and there is the meekness to receive through you many people should be benefactors of that grace if God grants you the grace for wealth and abundance it should not just end with you you should be a channel if God grants you the grace for intercession the grace that makes for encounters it should not end with you and so my passion is that when by the privilege of God's grace we receive from others who have gone ahead of us we receive directly from the Lord by the privilege of God's grace we allow these graces to benefit us the recipients but it does not stop there every time we come we've come in the fullness of the grace of this office seeking for as many people he says i long to see you that i may impart upon you some spiritual gift to the end that ye may be established without these provisions you will not be established it takes more than intellect to fulfill God's divine purposes over your life are we together and just because one or two areas may seem to be going well does not mean every area is going well your assignment is to insist until every area of your life reflects God's counsel so on one hand you commend yourself for the progress you've made in one area but then your hunger remains for all other areas Naaman was the captain of the Syrian army in 2 Kings 5. The Bible says he was a valiant man in war, but he was leprous. Abraham was old and well stricken in age. The Bible says, and the Lord had blessed him in all things. So I thank you, O God, because you have helped me. I have a good job. It's producing this, but now I'm seeing a challenge in my health. And you refuse to let the devil have an upper hand there. I contend by the Spirit of God for sound health, for wholeness. You love the Lord and you find out that spiritually you are pressing into great dimensions of power, but your finances has refused to answer. It just will not answer. Just when you want to make progress spiritually, it draws you back. 
the reality of the needs children school fees all of these things it's time for you to say lord thank you for the progress i'm making spiritually but this area is yet to bring honor to you that's why it takes meekness and humility don't say i have results in one area no is that all that your life can reflect are we together there are some of you here who are men of god women of god great teachers of the word but there is no performance and there is no grace you finish talking and you say let's share the grace the sick go sick the oppressed go oppressed everybody goes back the same way the only thing they live with is a greater level of enlightenment is wonderful but not complete then there are others with signs and wonders just like you see people flying left right and center that's what happens even if you don't talk you just show up and these things happen but people are dull of spiritual intelligence they don't learn anything they fall down they stand up they are still oppressed because the doctrine that builds and establishes that system of methodical mentorship is not there I'm hungry for you I'm hungry for you I have come to the table to eat I'm thirsty for you thirsty for you I have come to the waters to drink I made up my mind that for as long as I live I will seek God and seek every dimension of the kingdom as if I have never tasted of any. It takes the hunger of a starter to finish. It does not, it takes the hunger of it. You know how it is when you start things. That hunger, you must maintain the hunger of a starter, no matter what level in destiny you are in. The hunger of a starter. You are a man of God, thank God for the prophecies. Thank God for God granting you grace. But you must maintain the hunger of a starter. Great ministry. Mighty things happening. But your hunger still remains the same. And sometimes people are tempted to say, what else are you looking for? Well-meaning people. Well-intentioned. But very destructive communication. What are you waiting for? Make reference to my teaching yesterday. You are an unbeliever. Your greatest need is salvation. You are a believer. Your greatest need is transformation. You are transformed. Your greatest need is empowerment. You are empowered. Your greatest need is character and humility. You have all this and you have arrived. Your greatest need is to go back to Jesus again. I'm hungry for you. I'm hungry for you. I have come to the table to eat. I'm thirsty for you, thirsty for you. I have come to the waters to drink. Every time I have the privilege of talking with the Lord, I tell him, I say, Lord, may I never see the extent of my impact. All I want is just for me to know that at least I'm making progress. As far as my assignment is concerned one day if Christ tarries whether we like it or not through the completion of assignment we will leave this place and pass the baton for others so there must be a sense of urgency the urgency and the hunger of a starter whilst the nations are clapping for you you are doing well appreciate them and you can join them to pat your back for a while but return back quickly and know that every day you are making progress and every day there is hunger the nations are waiting are we together yes you are a man of god in these end times if you do not sustain the ability to understand scripture and to be rich in knowledge the knowledge of the doctrine of scripture the knowledge of christ backed up with superior levels of spiritual power get set for empty pews no matter what you think you are saying i assure you and don't you join people who say crowd does not matter that is nonsense who else should come and listen to you
crowd is not everything but it is proof that you are doing something right if nobody is following you you are not leading for a long time we continue to wallow around mediocrity explaining our frustrations and lack of results rather than being meek and humble to learn go to them that sell and buy there are people who have results find out what is their business with the spirit that is affording them these dimensions of possibilities go to them that sell and buy every time you don't see results in your life don't sit back explaining it away be humble enough to say i admit i am a man of god i do not see signs and wonders in my life don't just say i'm not called into that area the pride of mediocrity lord i know there are higher dimensions i have not seen it yet but there are people demonstrating it i humble myself with every sense of meekness that in addition to what you have done in my life let this be added that is the spirit that wins are we together you are doing well but your finances are not answering don't give an excuse and say oh no no problem it's just that it's not my will no no you are not getting it The Bible talks about Philip stepping into Samaria and the Bible says the people he preached Christ there unto them and they received him with gladness hearing and seeing the miracles that he did that should be Acts chapter 8 let's read it before we start praying Acts chapter 8 I think please give it to us Acts chapter 8 verse 4 or 5 let's start from verse 4 or 5 I think that should be five. And Philip went down to the city of Samaria. Please look up. And preached Christ unto them. Uh huh. And the people with one accord gave heed unto those things which Philip spake. Hearing and seeing is one thing to say, but it's one thing for God to back up what you are saying. Hearing and seeing. The miracles which he did. What are the miracles? The Bible tells us. For unclean spirits. This is a miracle. Victory over unclean spirits. The Bible recognizes it as a miracle. Crying with a loud voice. Came out of many that were possessed with them. And many that were taken with palsies. And that were lame. Were healed. Miracles deliverances from all sorts of hindrances it's not only spirit influences that impede the progress of men any obstacle that will not allow your advancement when you are caught away from it is called deliverance i've taught you this and then healings of all sorts do you know the kinds of sicknesses that plague people in our world today and we're not just talking of covid that is the obvious one now there are many dangerous and evil diseases that keep eating up people and right now there are many doctors here you can go to the hospital and they will check you from head to toe and say you are fine and yet you know you are not all right losing weight losing appetite satan at work john 10 10 the bible says the thief cometh not but for to steal to kill and to destroy he said i am come that ye may have life and then that you may have that life more abundantly but it takes hunger there are some of us here who have come traveled from far to receive activations for our destinies you must be very intentional minister prosper has set the stage so powerfully in worship and now all that is left is for you to receive with understanding don't just wait for what god will give you you must use your desire also as a connection point there are things god wants to give you but most of what he will give you are the things you desire what things soever ye desire mark 11 24 what things soever please give it to us ye desire it says when ye pray believe that thou receivest them and thou shall have them what things soever 
It says, For everyone that asketh, receiveth. To him that seeks, he will find. And everyone who knocks, amplified says, Ask and continue asking. Seek and continue seeking. Knock and continue knocking. It leaves you with an assurance. Hallelujah. One of the ways I walk with the Lord is to write down a list of all of the dimensions that He has revealed to me that are necessary for my life and my destiny. And gradually but surely begin to pursue those dimensions one after the other with the insistence of a bulldog. You've seen how bulldogs hold people and don't go? Or... For Bible students, the insistence of Jacob. You hold on to him. I will not let you go unless, unless, I will not let you go. Lord, there are nations waiting to drink from this grace. I hold on to you with every... I don't want to just go with a salmon alone. God is sending you to be an evangelist. You should not just go and stand on crusade grounds and waste the time of God's people, share the grace and go back. No. God is calling you to be a businessman. It takes more than business ideas. And having value that is turned into products and services. Wonderful. But it's limited. We live in a world that has been marred by all kinds of prejudices. Of tribe, religion, region, all kinds of sentiments. You will need an advantage that is superior to science. An advantage that is superior to commerce. For you to be able to last. Are we blessed? You are a student. You are trusting God for grace. Grace to excel. Grace to advance. Grace to be established. So while it seems like we focus just on those who are sick. The reason why we pay dedicated attention to people who are sick. Is because of this. Not necessarily because sickness is more superior to all other needs but it is because you see your body is the only legal authorization you have to function in this realm according to the law of territory if you do not have a material body you are an illegal occupant here so when you want to function legitimately you need a body and satan knows that so one of the ways that he drives you out of this realm is to deteriorate this physical body to a point where your spirit can no longer be hosted effectively in that body and it will live in an event we call death that's why he programs all kinds of ills he's found out through experience that the most effective way to exit spirits out of their bodies is to use sickness do you know that every dimension of sickness is, a, is, is like a wooing of death? No matter how simple it is, it's a wooing of death. Because it can progress. Don't be discouraged that you're sick. But I assure you, if you are sick, the goal is not to end in sickness there. So you must fight it with every spiritual arsenal within your power. Take advantage of the grace of God. Take advantage of all the spiritual provisions. The arsenals for victory that have been given to the believer. The power of the name. The power of the word. The power of the blood. The power of prophecy. The power of prophetic covering. All of these tools you engage with intelligence. Until your victory is established. Now thanks be to God. Which causes us always to triumph. Are we blessed? This is why we take our time to pray for the sick. If someone is not doing well in his life, you can bring the person and spend some time to mentor the person and teach the person. He can miraculously rise and within a short time he's covered. But if someone is sick and he dies, if a woman is barren for many years, it's not the best. But you are able to pray for her and God will give her twins or triplets or quadruplets. So, 10 years becomes compressed in 9 months. She can have 4 children. That one is not best. That one is restoration. But when someone dies, except by the power of resurrection, 
that person cannot do anything again you see the law is that every time you come out of this realm someone from this realm must have the power and the intelligence and the ability to call you back there must be someone alive in this realm who can call you back that's what makes jesus unique because nobody in this realm called him back he brought himself back that's proof that he's the real landlord of the earth whoever owns the earth must be able to leave it and come back but every other person who exits this realm you will have to depend on someone who is here to call you back you see why death is a dangerous thing and you see why sickness is a dangerous thing it incapacitates you one of the ways that the spirit of poverty works is through sickness it will appear like sickness but it's not really sickness it's the spirit of the waster when you are successful somebody becomes mysteriously sick please don't feel bad if you are here you have a loved one or you are here sick yourself but i'm showing you that most of those things are expressions of the waster people sell their houses they sell their cars they spend years building wealth and everything vanishes within months in response to sicknesses and then up until everything is over then the person just passes on or something happens it's in your bible second Kings chapter 4 the bible talks about the wife of the sons of the prophet i'm sure that the man died of sickness and she had to use her children as collateral to manage his situation now he was gone and the creditors were coming to embarrass her and she ran to the prophet my husband was a good man now i'm in trouble they're about to take my children the same thing happened to the widow at name all the men in her life don't last they go her husband and now her only son and jesus dealt with that situation seriously you must be discerning why is it that when good things step into my life just when i get a raise at work for instance all kinds of things begin to happen around my life until everything finishes something must be wrong i engage this with the word i engage this with the blood no excuses hallelujah why do we minister deliverance of people because most of the obstacles that stand before people stand their way of progress as spirits i desired to come to you even i paul once and again but satan hindered us hear me satan can hinder people your destiny helper wants to reach you but satan can hinder them are we blessed so we have traveled from far and near many of you have written your requests right now many following from different nations different regions you are trusting god for a miracle we have got a few minutes left to pray and it's going to be a quick one now we're going to do it this way i'm going to minister deliverance by the power of the holy spirit like we always do i may not have the time to prophesy uniquely one by one to people but then i will pray and then i will pray generally for those who are trusting god for healing usually would lay hands on people but now just to honor the laws of the land we may not lay hands on people one by one but i will pray for you like we did the last miracle service wherever you are under the sound of my voice i want you to believe that the hand of god will come upon you the moment that happens we'll take a few testimonies then we'll pray over our prayer requests here so be sure to write if you are not if you don't have your prayer request yet you can use a minute or two very quickly to just write down what your expectation is and then we'll speak prophetically and do the impartation and we're done for tonight are you blessed whilst you're seated i'd like you to pray in the name of jesus christ lift your voice and cry to the god of heaven lord visit me you know the category that your needs come under please pray you know the category that your needs come under talk to the lord some of you your need is an impartation i came to contact fire for my fellowship for my church for my group
for some of you is higher levels of encounters make sure you are praying for some of you is a visitation in your health a visitation in your life don't be distracted outside all the overflows pray for some of us is divine direction some of us is greater levels of illumination we came to access grace out of my belly shall flow rivers rivers of living water out of my belly shall flow rivers, rivers of living water. Out of my belly shall flow. Rivers of living water Out of my belly say Shall flow rivers Rivers of living water Are you still talking to the Lord? New levels, new dimensions, fresh grace, higher dimensions of function, greater possibilities in this kingdom. We want to see you like a mighty rushing wind. We want to dwell under the shadow of your wings. We want to see you like a mighty rushing wind. We want to dwell under the shadow of your wings. We want to see you like a mighty rushing wind. We want to dwell under the shadow of your wings. Blow, blow, blow like a mighty wind. Spirit of victory, power us with your wings. Please rise up on your feet. Listen. By the grace of God and by the privilege of the election of grace, I have, I've had the opportunity to minister to without exaggeration millions of people i have seen what oppression can do i know spirits are real i know they can tie down destinies they can tie down even the people of god this is why he sent carpenters to judge these horns that lift up themselves against judah against israel against jerusalem he said i have sent four carpenters and for most of you, you may be standing representing altars. You're not just standing here for yourself. 
Now I'm going to begin to pray and I want you to bring the people out. We'll have to do this very fast. There are individuals who are standing here right now. You are standing as an individual. But in the realm of the spirit you are representing even a generation of people. Age long captivities that are sponsored by wicked spirits. That will just not let people and families go. We are about to pray. Bring those outside. Let's do that very quickly. Father, in the name that is above all names, I decree and declare even tonight, by the power that raised Jesus from the dead, everyone under the sound of my voice, who is under any influence and any spirit that is not of the Christ, at the count of three, I want you to shout that name, Jesus. The name that is above every other name. Are you ready? One, my God. Two, three, shout Jesus. Be gone now by the power of the Holy Ghost. Bring them out over families. Over destinies. In the name that is above all names, we decree and declare, blotting out every handwriting, every ordinance that spoke against us, he nailed it to his cross. We decree and declare again, by the fire of the Holy Ghost, upon everyone and everything that is not of the Christ. Bring them out, we are praying. Shadabakatos The Lord is showing me change in the spirit. Change that have held people down. I want to pray. Everyone who is under the influence of any chain of captivity right now at the count of three may fire land on you and burn those chains. One, Kapakakos Ketebeketa. Two, Parus Ketebariakata. Three, in the name of Jesus, be broken, be broken, be broken, be broken. Thank you for watching, like our videos, share and subscribe. Thank you.